So I really want to talk about this in the context of a school setting, how we look at it. Um, we think about the motor failure and how again and again that, that, how that promotes a lack of feelings of competency. You think of Sherry's little boy wanting to get into that ball pit. Imagine if you spent your whole life like that wanting to do things that were just so desperately hard to execute. We think of dense, uh, differences in sensory comprehension and integration and when this happens we see fear and avoidance of unpredictable experiences. We see defenses, we see fight or flight behaviors, we, we see behaviors being used to trigger predictable um, responses even if they're negative. So in, just in looking at the flow chart here, we really want to think about the inability to filter, discriminate, and modulate incoming information and how this impacts regulation. Motor planning, when that breaks down, the frustration of executing ideas, and visual, spatial, and vision challenges, how that makes it difficult for kids to comprehend their environments and their experiences, and often leads to fear, and particularly in a school setting where there's a lot of unpredictable um, incoming information. We also want to think about deficits in expressive communication and language, how this leads to frustration and often depression over time. Um, and you know, these are all comments given to us by some of our students, how they really feel like a silent observer, how they feel that the perception of them is that they're dumb because they can't communicate. 